Hello everybody. Welcome to the ninth video of the distance learning program. I'm so happy to be here with you today and I hope that you're enjoying the video lessons. Uh, please let me know if there's anything that I can do uh, to help you in any way. You can always call me or you can text me, uh, email me. Uh, here's my email address right up here and uh, I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. For today's lesson, we're going to start on page 41 of the Ventures 3 book. Page 41, that's unit 3E. And we're going to read another example of a complaint email. Uh, I'd like to begin by reading the words in the gray box right above the email. Uh, part C on page 41 begins by saying complete the complaint email, complete the complaint email. So we're going to use these words that are in the gray box to fill in the blanks in the email below. So I'm going to pronounce the words first. Please follow with me and read each word as I do. Advance, because, because of, Sincerely, soon, very. So we're going to use those words to fill in the blanks in the complaint email below. Now I'm going to read the email and I'll fill in the blanks with the correct words. From Alina Krasinski. And then it shows her email address. To Flower Street Management, and then the email address for Flower Street Management. That's info at flowerstreet.com. Subject, that means what is the email about? Leaking sink. So apparently, uh, Alina has a problem with her sink and it's uh, leaking. To whom it may concern. Remember, we use to whom it may concern when we don't know the name of a specific person that we're writing to. We're sending the email to the management and if we don't know the name of the person who's the manager, we write to whom it may concern. My name is Alina Krasinski. I live at 156 South Flower Street, apartment six. I am writing because the pipes under my kitchen sink are leaking. Now, it says blank the leak. And remember, earlier in a previous lesson, we studied because of clauses, and uh, I'm sorry, because clauses and because of uh, noun phrases. So this is a because of noun phrase, and the words that need to go into blank number two are because of. So you would say, because of the leak, my water bill will be very high next month. Very high. You need an adjective to describe how high the water bill is. It's very high. The water is also bad for the kitchen floor. Can you please come as blank as possible to fix the leak? Now, what word would go in uh, Blank number four. Well, you would like for the people to come quickly. So the word that would go in blank number four is soon. You would like for management to respond quickly to your email. And so you would ask them to please come as soon as possible to fix the leak. That would mean very quickly. Thank you in blank. And um, if we look at the words above, what word do you think would go in blank number five? Well, if you're trying to thank somebody before they do something, then that would mean you're thanking them in advance. So the blank number five would be the word advance. You should use advance in that blank. And then finally it says six is just a blank comma Alina Krasinski. Well, usually we use the word sincerely 
to end uh, a letter. And uh, you usually write sincerely or sincerely yours and then a comma and then you sign the email with your name. So sincerely would go in blank number six. And it says a complaint email should include the problem, examples, and a, a request to fix the problem. So it has to include those three things. It includes whatever the problem is, and it gives examples of what might be the problem. And then you want to uh, also ask for uh, someone to come and fix the problem. So it's a request to fix the problem. All right, so since we don't usually spend too much time writing emails or writing uh, letters, I'll let you go ahead and write that on your own. And if you'd like to send it to me, I can check it over and see if it's written well, okay? And I can correct any mistakes. But next, we'd like to turn to lesson F, which is on page 42. Page 42, life skills reading. Now, before we begin, I'd like to ask you a quick question about website. Have you ever heard the word website before? I'm going to take a quick pause and write it on the board for you. Okay, now that I've written the word website on the board here, I'd like to ask you a quick question. Uh, what does website mean? Well, you might have been on the internet before, and uh, hopefully you use it quite often, and you've probably gone to many different websites, but websites are places on the internet that you can go to that offer information. So think about some websites that you might have used in the past. Can you think of any websites that you have used? Uh, perhaps you've gone to a school website for either your child or for your grandchild. Uh, there are other websites like ESL websites. If you go to those ESL websites, you can use them to help you learn English. And then also there are news websites. You can go read all kinds of articles about what's happening in the world. And those are news websites. We often go to the News For You website and read articles from the News For You website. Uh, but there's a multitude or a whole lot of very uh, educational websites that you can do, go to. And uh, there are also websites that offer all kinds of entertainment, like gaming. And uh, uh, you can just go there for, for fun, like to talk to people. So sometimes there are chat websites as well. So um, the next word that I also want to discuss is volunteer. I've written that down here below the date, volunteer. Now, what is a volunteer? I'm going to read this culture tip. It talks about how Americans volunteer. It says, it might be helpful to explain that many Americans choose to spend their free time working without pay. So volunteering means you're using your time uh, to volunteer by doing something without pay. That means you're not being paid for your work. And it says, or volunteering. So when you offer to do something, when you spend your free time working without pay or volunteering in the community, that's what this word means, volunteer, to do something without pay. Also, explain that a community center is a place where people can get together for a variety of events. That means many different kinds of events. Variety is uh, a large number of different kinds of things that are often offered for free, such as concerts, lectures, sports, and games. Many communities have these centers. They are especially popular with young children and senior citizens. So many Americans volunteer at community centers. And we're gonna to go to a website on page 42. So if you look, unit 3F, page 42, 
we're going to read about the community center, the Oak Park Community Center right here. So this is the life skills reading lesson F. At the top, it says community center volunteers needed. And then it says home about us and contact us. So you can put your cursor on home and that takes you to the home uh, page. You can find out more about the Oak Park Community Center if you click on about us or if you want contact information, you can click on contact us. Then it says organization, Oak Park Community Center. Volunteers needed, 10. Date, open. Time, 9 a.m., that's in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, to 10 p.m., that's p.m. means at nighttime, so 10 o'clock at night. Uh, a.m. means anti-meridian, and p.m. means post-meridian. Then it says estimated time, four hours per day. Location, 15 Franklin Street, Dallas, Texas, 75231. Description, volunteers to provide food and drinks to visitors. Volunteers to, uh, for theater uh, to greet people, answer questions, assist with seating. Volunteer for arts program to assist teachers with classes. Requirements, reliable, teamwork skills, good customer service. Prefer 18 years old or over. So 18 years old and over means they would prefer someone who is uh, not a child, but 18 years of age or, or older, which means uh, above 18 years. So basically they're saying that they don't want uh, children to apply for these jobs. Then it says, read the questions, look at the ad, fill in the answer. The first question says, how long do volunteers need to work? How long do volunteers need to work? Well, if you look right here where it says estimated time, it says four hours per day. So the answer to the question would be B, four hours per a day. Per means each, so four hours each day. Number two, which word under requirements best matches the example of coming to work on time every day? So if you look at the words under requirements, it says reliable, teamwork skills, and good customer service. And then it has a uh, a preference of the age of the uh, volunteer. So, of those three phrases, reliable, teamwork skills, and good customer service, which one of those do you think means that you come to work every day on time? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, since teamwork skills doesn't mean anything about coming to work on time, or good customer service is not about coming to work on time, that means reliable, is the right word. So we would pick C. A synonym for reliable would be dependable. You could say dependable. So dependable people show up to work on time. So they come to work on time every day. So C is correct. It's reliable. Then number three says, what can a volunteer do at this center? Well, if you look at description, it shows the different things that volunteers can do. It says they can provide food and drinks for visitors. It says they can work at the theater to greet people, answer questions, and assist with seating. And then it also says they can volunteer for the arts program to assist teachers with classes. So, A says volunteers must be artists. Well, it doesn't say they have to be artists, so that doesn't sound right. B says volunteers must be experienced. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong question. I'm looking at four. I should be looking at three. Three says 
They can greet people. Well, that's true. They can do that in part two there. It says volunteers for a theater uh, are used. They're going to greet people and answer questions. Then it says help the art teachers. Well, it says they can volunteer for arts program and assist teachers. Assist means to help. C says serve food. Well, number one says they can provide food and drinks. That means you're serving food if you're providing food and drinks. So they can do all three of those. So the answer to part three would be D. D is all of the above. Then, I'm sorry, we'll go to four next, which I accidentally uh, read before. It says, which statement is true? It says, volunteers must be artists. Volunteers must be experienced cooks. Volunteers must be over 21 years old. And then volunteers must be team players. So, A does not seem correct because it says they must be artists. We're just looking for volunteers to help or assist teachers. So it, it doesn't say that you have to be an artist to be a volunteer. So A doesn't sound right. B says you have to be an experienced cook. You must be experienced cook. So it doesn't say that you have to be a, an experienced cook. It just says that you can provide food and drinks to visitors. And then B, let's see. C says volunteers must be over 21 years old. But under requirements, it says they prefer 18 years old and over. So it doesn't say 21. Then D says volunteers must be team players. If you look under requirements, it says teamwork skills. So that is the correct answer. Uh, you need to be a team player if you'd like to volunteer. So the answer would be D, volunteers must be team players. Finally, let's look at page 43, grammar connections. It says up at the top, use be able to for ability. That means that the verb be able to means that you can do something. You can do it if you are able to do it. So it says, be able to equals can. Here are two examples of using be able to. It says, I'm able to drive. That, be, that means you could say, I can drive. And the second example, Isabel isn't able to drive. That means Isabel can't drive. Then it says, work in a small group, play the game. Write your name on a small piece of paper. Flip a coin to move your paper. Then tell your group about the topic in the square. Use be able to in your answer and take turns. So here are two examples of how you can play the game. If you land on this first square here, it says, a food you are able to make in, 15, in less than 15 minutes. So part A says, this says, a food you are able to make in less than 15 minutes. So you can make a sentence about that. You can say, okay, I'm able to make cookies in less than 15 minutes. And then another person who you're playing with, then they can uh, move their, they can, they can flip a coin and either move one or two places and theirs might say something you aren't able to lift. So this person says, I'm not able to lift my nephew. So you can go to each of these different places here on the board and answer the questions. Uh, someone you know who isn't able to drive. Uh, if I landed on that space, I would say, my neighbor's daughter isn't able to drive. Her name's Mahika. And she's only about eight years old, so she's not able to drive. Next, it says, an animal that isn't able to swim. An animal that isn't able to swim. So if you can think of an animal that's not able to swim, 
you would answer that question by saying, um, a sparrow or maybe a um, robin isn't able to swim because those are birds and they fly. So you could say a robin or a sparrow is an animal that isn't able to swim. So I hope you've en enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again. So please tune in for the next one. Thanks a lot and have a great day.